Well, what if we were to put the airplane inside of a transmission line? A cylindrical one, like the, the coaxial cables we've been dealing a lot with, that might not make the most that sense, it might not be the most convenient. But what about a transmission line like the microstrips you see on a regular circuit board? We have a nice flat surface that we could put our airplane on. And this is a TEM transmission line. Uh, it's one of the ones that we looked at at the very beginning of this class. So look at the electric and the magnetic fields in between the two conductors, say right here in between. They behave exactly as a plane wave. So the red uh, arrows here are the E fields pointing straight downwards. And right in the middle here, there's B fields circulating around the upper conductor. So locally, the B field, or H field, uh, is, is um, horizontal. And the direction of propagation is into the board, or into the screen. And so they're both perpendicular to each other and perpendicular to the direction of propagation. So what if we made a really large microstrip transmission line and put our airplane right in the middle of it? This might seem ridiculous at the moment, but it would give us the physics that we need. So let's go with it for now until we might or might not come up with something better. Now in our case, we're not constrained to a circuit board. Uh, that is, there isn't really an, ad an, an advantage to us having one of the conductors be wider than the other. So we could use what's called a balanced uh, transmission line, where, like the one shown here, where both the conductors have the same width. So here's a top view looking down, you just see the the top of the conductor and the side view. And you can see the E fields labeled. So they just they change direction because they're varying sinusoidally. And then the same for the H field, so going in and out of the screen. So in between the two conductors, we have the same sort of electric fields as you have for a plane wave that's shown on the top here. So here's a diagram of what we've come up with so far. An airplane inside of a balanced TEM transmission line. Take out your in-class project notebooks and describe how we might be able to use a TEM transmission line to locally generate a plane wave in a confined space without requiring a huge measurement setup where we have to have uh, you know, our airplane multiple wavelengths away from a source and so forth. Um, so that we can still achieve a planar wave near the airplane.